To check the deck mount style converter, you need a multimeter with AC and DC ranges. We are going to set it on the AC range for the first test. At the outlet that the converter is plugged into, with the meter leads going directly into it, check for shore or generator power. There is no power at the outlet. We are now going to check the fuse panel. There should be a breaker for the converter. Sometimes there are other things on this breaker. We flip it up to turn the breaker on and we still do not have power at the outlet. The only other possibility is we do not have shore or generator power. So we are going to turn on our shore power and we now have a good voltage at the AC outlet. We will now check the converter for output. Put the meter on a DC range. Get a 532nd Allen key and find the negative lead on a converter. This is usually white in RV wiring. Sometimes it is black as in this case, but it is marked on the outside of the converter with a minus sign. Remove this lead and set it aside. On top of the converter is fine as long as it is the minus lead. Using a multimeter on the DC range, take the black probe and put it to the minus on the converter and the red probe to the positive on the converter. You should read 13.6 volts here, plus or minus 0.3. If there is a wizard, you may read 14.4 or 13.2. If there is no voltage here, we want to proceed to check the reverse battery fuses. They are located on the same end that the leads come in. You can remove these easily with the needle nose pliers. Once removed, put your multimeter on the ohms range and check these for continuity. They should be zero ohms. We can now check the battery connection. Taking your black lead to the negative and your red lead to the positive, you should read the battery voltage here. If you do not read the battery voltage, there is a problem with connection to the battery or a blown fuse near the battery in the positive lead. You can now reconnect the negative lead tightening it to the torque specification on the outside of the converter. And take your meter again and check to make sure the converter is working. Depending on the load on the converter and whether the battery is charging, the reading here could be 12.6 to 14.4.